Hello, my name's Don D. Uh, I'm a user of uh, Serif Web Plus, and you'll find me on the Web Plus forum on the serif.com site. This tutorial is going to be a, an introduction onto Google Maps. Uh, things have changed slightly now uh, with Google Maps, uh, whereas you, you don't need a, a key uh, to use some of the features uh, on uh, Google. So that's one godsend. And the other is that uh, now Google uh, within Web Plus goes through, it uses JavaScript rather than going through the SWR. So here we are. We're going to start with a click on the Google button and it brings you up to presumably the default location of where you are in the world. Now I'm doing a, a site for property in Miami. Very nice. So we'll give give it a search and it comes up with the the middle of Miami and I know that my property in my wish list is down here just down here on this on this road just down by the beach here so what you can do you can add a marker to this uh, to this map by clicking add brings you up in this window and then you get a cross here as the cursor all you do is literally click on the map where you want the mark to go just there and then here you can put your label and also um, a description that comes up into in a bubble above the the marker when it is uploaded to the internet right there we go now just supposing you think oh I've put the marker in the wrong place it should be on this road here okay fair enough click move and then click in the correct location you want it and the marker jumps to that location dead simple dead simple so happy with that okay right now we want um, another marker for another property so what we'll do now is uh, we'll move the map to the correct location I'm still staying in Miami and still on the beach so here we go click add again click where you want the marker and then again and okay out if you want to go down again to property one you select property one uh, from the map marker drop down list and then click go to and then the map changes to that location and of course you can remove markers select them from their marker um, drop down list click remove and it gone um, if you want to edit a marker you select it and I edit property 2 click edit and it brings you up to the correct marker where you can change any of the uh, the bits and pieces there 
So, OK. And then when you're finished, you can have, as far as I can, as far as I know, you can have as many uh, markers as you like. Navigation controls here. You can you can select full or compact, and it changes the, the display here to show you. And then map type menu. There we go. We change that to that. You can have show street control or or not, and enable mouse wheel zoom. Uh, there are other items in this uh, Google Maps, but I'm going to do a second tutorial on that. Uh, if you want to practice with this one, uh, I find it very stable and very, very useful. I'm going to put this on the map now and then and then view it. So, OK. And then click and drag on the map, on the, on the page, where you want the map. Now you can see it there, and these are for my luxury holiday houses. So if we go to um, View in Explorer, here we are in Explorer, and here's the the map. Uh, click on the marker and it comes up this is the location of property one so obviously you can put in whatever you like there um, if you're into um, HTML you can add pictures to this which I'm going to cover in a second video so that's it for the quick um, look at Google Maps. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you shortly. Goodbye.